guys, welcome to the vlog. Today we are hiking Larch Valley to Sentinel Pass. I don't know why, but I look like a floating head right now. Uh, it is really cold this morning, but I am in so many layers that it's actually pretty hot right now. So I might take off a couple layers on the way up. Other than that, hopefully it's a good day and hopefully it doesn't snow, but I'll see you guys in the next clip. It's right, just go with the feeling Take my hand, we'll ruin our plans We'll leave it all behind We gotta leave tonight Get away Feeling kinda reckless when you're here with me Baby, see the word and we can disappear Okay, trail update. We've gone through most of the switchbacks. We're just on the last bit. It's starting to warm up. The sun's starting to come out. I don't even know if I told you what trail we're doing today, but we're doing Large Valley to Sentinel Pass. So I'll show you guys the view further up, but so far so good. See you guys in the next clip. Where we belong, baby, we're just passing through Meet me at the hotel room We've been busy sleeping We could live our documentaries It's right, just go with the feeling Take my hand, we'll ruin our plans we'll leave it all behind We gotta leave tonight Get away, feeling kinda Hey guys, so we've made it to the junction, which is here. So the trail forks to Larch Valley on one side and Eiffel Lake on the other. So this might look familiar from my Eiffel Lake vlog. We went that way. So yeah, we're getting there. Hiking crew, <laughs> say hi. hi. <laughs> busy trail today. I forgot to vlog back there, but this is the Valley of Ten Peaks behind me. It's super pretty. All the larches are slowly starting to go away, but we'll continue on up to Sentinel Pass and I'll update you guys then. See you in the next clip.
Update. We're on the last bit of the grind before we get to Sentinel Pass. So I'll show you guys when we're up there. Sentinel Pass. To get here, it's 5.86k. The views are absolutely stunning. You can see uh, Minnesota Lake behind me. You can't see Moraine from up here, but we have a beautiful view of Mount Temple to the side over here. And the rock formations on the other side are also stunning, so I'll show you guys that next. I will see you in the next clip. Bye! You're not sure listen to your gut. The right path might come when the time is right Don't feel it Take your own method Looking for the one who's trying to be perfect, yeah You will try to match it Don't be sad if you don't make it up You hope for one last living life means making blunders It can make you shatter You will try to fight the thunder Trust me no matter what happens Because I
welcome to my after hike summary for Sentinel Pass and Large Valley. I am getting through these hiking videos, I promise. Like I am seriously trying so hard to catch up. I know I did this back in September again, but this is my last hike of September. And then, you know, there isn't too many for October. So I think I am kind of close to catching up a little bit. I would like to be caught up with my hiking content by the end of November and I think I'll get there. But this one was a great hike. This is something that I do almost every year. I think I've only missed one year of hiking this since 2017 or 2018. It's when I first started hiking this one for large season and I wanted to do it. I remember I wanted to do it for so long and then I didn't either catch the season like I I wasn't a seasoned hiker as in like I knew exactly when larch season started. I kind of ventured out on my own and if I got lucky and saw larches then cool and if I didn't then you know I would wait till next year kind of thing. So I never really knew when larch season was when I first started hiking this one. I feel like it was so long ago and it was the days where you could drive up to Moraine. There wasn't that many people up there. It was great fun times. But I wanna tell you guys the stats on this one. So this one was 12.9K with an elevation of 811 meters. So I think it's a great workout. It's not too strenuous, but it is a great workout. I don't find this trail very hard. I think that this is more of a moderate trail if you're relatively fit and you go hiking a lot. I think you'll find this one more moderate, but it's still a great workout. And you do have to take a shuttle here as of 2023. So that's a thing now. We booked the shuttle tickets quite a while ago, back, you know, when they first came out because I knew that large season was going to be very popular. So we just picked a random day at the end of September and hoped for the best. And honestly, this was like peak large season when we went, so I was very happy. The large needles and stuff weren't too green anymore. They were like fully, it was fully large season. Everything was golden and beautiful. And we went, you know, before it started snowing like crazy. So we got lucky and we went the day before a major snowstorm. And I think that major snowstorm actually took out all the needles. So I got super lucky with this one. And it was kind of like a redemption from Lake O'Hara because after Lake O'Hara booking it and getting really bad weather, I was very happy with the day that we got to do large valley sentinel so it's very straightforward easy trail very well marked it's in a national park of course so you basically start on the banks of moraine lake moraine lake is absolutely stunning and you take the switchback trail up to the junction and then from the junction you will take a right and this trail takes you to mount temple it takes you to eiffel peak it takes you to large valley all of that is on along this trail, right? So we had some really fun experiences here at the junction this time around because there's always whiskey jacks. And if you don't know what whiskey jacks are, they are those gray birds, the gray jays with the really sharp pointy black beaks. And they are super friendly. They always try to take your food, right? So last time I was here eating and stuff, there was one watching me, nothing too crazy. But this time one actually tried to steal food out of my friend's hand, which it was, she was like mid bite and it tried to like, take her food. So I think they're just really used to humans now and it's kind of gotten to that point where it's a little scary to eat. That was our experience at the junction. I got some amazing photos of Mr. Whiskey Jack that tried to take my friend's food. And we continued on to Larch Valley. So when we first got there in the morning, it was very people-y. There was tons of people on the trail, really hard to take photos and stuff like that. But on our way back, it was quite a lot better. So from here, we stopped, took some photos, and continued up to Minnestama Lake. Minnestama Lake is really stunning because it's like that reflective lake. So it's quite shallow. It's nothing too spectacular, honestly. Like it doesn't look like Moraine Lake or Grassy Lakes or anything, but it's very reflective. And all of the snow and the peaks around the lake were like reflecting in the water. So I've got some really cool shots there. From here, we continued up to Sentinel Pass, which is a very short, maybe like kilometer away from Minnesota Lake and the views on Sentinel Pass are stunning and I never get bored of them. I've come back so many times and I never get bored of them and there's just really cool rock formations up there that almost look fake but they're like these rock pillars almost with pointy tips. It's so cool. 
at the top of Sentinel, you get views of Menasema Lake again from up here. And of course, the Valley of Ten Peaks, you can see from Sentinel. So we stopped here for a bit. I took some time lapses. I think it was supposed to start snowing that day, but it didn't. We got super lucky with the weather. From here, we went back to Larch Valley where we took some photos here. I think the photos turned out great. The mountain peaks and everything with a little dusting of snow looked amazing. And then we went to the rock pile. So the rock pile was our last stop on the list before we caught the shuttle. And from here, you get that iconic Moraine Lake view and of course there was tons of people it was mid-afternoon and it was like so crowded up there like so crowded but you know that's the reality of living in one of the most beautiful provinces or beautiful places in the world you have places like Moraine Lake which is the most photographed lake in the world and of course there's gonna be tons of tourists up there so that is all I have for you. I will definitely probably go back and do this one again next year. It's kind of been a tradition now. So that is all for this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you're not already subscribed, please go ahead, click that subscribe button below. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I will see you guys soon. Bye. I'll let you deeper than I